waste out of our landfills. Waukesha has a new plan to not only protect the environment, but also save some tax dollars. Fox 6's Brett Lemoyne joins us live outside the city's drop-off center. And Brett, this new program sounds great, but it does come with a catch. Yeah, that's right, Ted and Stephanie. The city is asking people to haul their table scraps here to the city's drop-off location at Century and Sunset in Waukesha. It may sound inconvenient, but city leaders are hopeful it'll make a difference. Waukesha's drop-off center is a one-stop destination for people to dispose of things like yard waste. It's a resource for people to bring recyclable materials. From now until the end of the year, recycling and solid waste coordinator Dustin Nolan says the city is also accepting food waste. They take the whole bag and put the bag into the bin. It's part of a pilot program to gauge interest in composting. Our goal is to divert less material going to a landfill, more into a compost operation. In a landfill, organic waste generates methane, a flammable greenhouse gas. In a study two years ago, the Wisconsin DNR found organic waste was the largest largest category of waste in landfills statewide. There absolutely is a financial piece to this. So we pay per ton for solid waste, for trash going to a landfill. Waukesha is partnering with Compost Crusader. I absolutely love it. To compost what's collected. It can take cooked meat, bones, dairy, um, that potato salad that sat in the back of your fridge for too long. Owner Melissa Tashin services about 2,500 households throughout the region. Many have curbside collections, just like garbage and recycling. Tashin says only Sturdivant and now Waukesha have drop-offs. It's a big ask, though, having people haul their food scraps, in yeah. some cases, halfway across town. You're right. Yeah, we understand that. Waukesha hopes this model can be beneficial for people in apartments or condos who can't compost in their own backyards. What we're doing with these food scraps is we're actually recycling them and creating a soil amendment that can be utilized back into the community. Now, at the end of the year, Nolan says the city will assess what worked and what didn't work with this pilot program. For, through the end of the year, it is free for any Waukesha resident to bring their organic waste at this location. We should also point out a few years ago, Milwaukee had a pilot program, a curbside pilot program for organic waste. It cost homeowners about $13 a month. Reporting live in Waukesha, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. Brett, I know you asked him this question, and obviously he under, understands the ask here of having people bring their food scraps to this collection site. Have you seen anybody stop by with a car lo load full of old food to dump it in the compost bin there since you've been out there? Yeah. Yeah, well, so the drop-off isn't actually open today. It's Wednesdays and Saturdays. But oh, okay. as we take a look inside, I can tell you, yeah, there are. there's a few. Uh, <laughs> it smells a little too, Stephanie, but there are a few uh, bags full of uh, organic waste inside. Some people are doing it. Keep that lid tight. Brett Lemoyne reporting live <laughs> for us tonight. Thanks, Brett.